yeah hello uh wonderful uh, viewers and uh subscribers to africa my heritage tv uh please uh you are once again welcome and this is your host and your boy uh kwame the african child please if this is your first time that you are seeing the video on our platform uh kindly, kindly click on the subscription button to enable you to be part of this great platform please after clicking on the subscription button also please kindly also click on the notification bell icon and if you click on the notification bell icon a menu is going to pop up and when the menu pops up please click on all notifications to enable you to have access to all videos that we are going to uh, put on this platform please under this same video that you are watching you are also going to see a like button please if you click on the like button it tells the youtube algorithm that the video is good it has a quality content and thus it needs to be promoted to enable larger audience to also have access to it and watch and please uh, finally you can also see that under the video there's a comment button there if you click on the comment button it enables us to stay interrupted i need to be able to hear from you as a viewer and, and a subscriber and with your comments and suggestions is going to enable us as the content creators to also improve on the content delivery on this platform to make sure that as a cherished subscriber and viewer you are always feeling welcome you are always feeling happy and you are always uh, feeling excited to be on our platform and to watch our videos also so please make sure you are going to uh, let your suggestions and comments to also come to us to enable us to uh, assess ourselves whether we are doing good job or bad job africa my heritage tv is on a mission to make sure that intentionally and deliberately all the videos on this platform are going to be pleasing to our viewers and it's going to make sure that it can be of education to our viewers it can entertain our, our viewers and it can also keep our viewers informed and it's in as much as we are doing this we are also looking at the at an instance that we wouldn't have any a viewer or subscriber to this channel who is going to dislike a video or who is going to show his uh, displeasure to any of our videos so please with respect to uh you feeling so welcome on this platform please allow your comments and suggestions to also flow to us to enable us to keep on doing this in the right way to keep on praising you and finally please kindly recommend africa my heritage tv to your friends and family all africans in diaspora and all citizens across the globe so as i said the uh, foundation or the basis for a nation's development is good road network i always do videos on this area the basis or the foundation or the core to any country's development to any nation's development to any continent's development is good road network good road network i'm not only talking about the road i'm also talking about the railway network i'm also talking about the country's ability to have also access to good airport to enable transportation between cities to cities to enable transportation between regions to regions to enable transportation between uh uh, uh states to state to enable transportation between uh uh, uh 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 county to county all this help improve a country's growth and now with respect to the western world that we are finding ourselves in that we are witnessing the rate at which they are growing and the pace of their development we can attest to the fact that it is because of good road network even though the railway infrastructure is there even though the good they have good airport facilities also enable air, air, enable air transport the most predominant way of their transportation or the primary way of their transportation is good road, road network so now like what i'm showing you right now so i'm just in my neighborhood today is my off day and i decided to just do about say 40 minutes work and i decided to just shoot you this video so now this is a neighborhood road but when i am in my neighborhood you can see that right now i am on the sidewalk you can see a sidewalk on the right side of the road and you can also see a sidewalk on the left side of the road at the same time you can see that the road has a double lane those that are going and those that are coming and it also has a middle lane for those that want to divert or that want to uh turn into maybe a right uh a right area or uh or, or, or a left area that is also in the middle also as i said all this facilitates a country's development all this facilitates a country development there can be a country on the planet of earth that wants to develop and yet is having poor road uh, network there is no way that thing is going to work and one thing about a country having a good uh, road network and it's also enhancing development is that mind you we see 
the basis uh, for uh, development of business in any country is buying and selling. The basis for development in any country, in any advanced country, in any developing country is buying and selling. So now, we, if we have the, say, the ability, if we have the ability to uh, buy something from the first person and be able to transport it to the second person in the right frame of time, it enables our productivity to keep on growing. It enables productivity to keep on growing. Like you see, in any place that you may also go, you are also going to see uh, always men at work. You, you always see men at work. See, they do their work well. They are always right on their job. When they are working on the road, when they are working on work, when they are working on the sidewalk, they make sure they put on the warning sign. The warning signs are clear and visible for the uh, motorists to see. Those that are driving can see it. Those that are working can see it to make sure that they also give much attention to the people that are on the ground working and at the same time also their own safety and their own well-being. So all these are certain things that we can consider as a continent. All these things are certain things that we can consider as a continent. If we can consider this thing and try to implement it in our own homeland, there is no way we are not going to grow as a people. As I said, there is no way we can grow without good rules. And as I was uh, making the example, now, if you just take my own country, Ghana, for an, as an instance, see, you see, so what is impeding the growth of my own country, Ghana, that is also in western part of Africa, and that is also in the continent of Africa, is we have a very poor road network. We have a very poor road network. So, now, simply, if you are to buy from somebody, and what you bought from somebody, you are supposed to deliver it to the second party or the third party. And you are supposed to deliver it within an hour time. And the poor road network is going to make it impossible for you to do that within an hour. But you're going to do that within three hours. It means you've lost two hours of productive time. You've lost two hours of productive time. You have lost two hours of productive time, which is so, 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 so sad which is so, so bizarre and which is so, so appalling. Because, you see, time lost can never be regained. When a time is lost, it can never be regained. The most precious resources on the planet of Earth, Earth is called time. You see, sometimes when you lost money, you can work and get the money back. When you lose uh, your wife, you can go forth to marry another woman. When you lose your car, you can work out to buy another car. When you uh, lose uh, your asset, anything on face of either you can lose or that can be lost from your hands. You can work hard to get the same thing back, but with time as a resource, the moment is gone. The moment, the moment it has been utilized, the moment, the moment is lost. There is no way you can regain time back, time back. So it is so important that as an African country, we need to maximize our time. We need to maximize our time. We need to maximize our time. If I say maximize our time, I mean we have to put our time into best and effective use. The more productive we would want our continent to be, the more we have to be smart in maximizing the resource called time in making sure that we can develop in the right pace and we can develop in the right and foreseeable best of time. So, fellow Africans, this is my short recordings I decided to do for the African continent to enable our leaders to wake up and to know the right things to do to enable the African continent to grow and my own country Ghana to also grow. As I said, there is no way a country can grow. There is no way a continent can grow without a good road network. If you have good railway network, it is good. If you have good uh, airport, it is good to enable, uh, enable air transport, it is good. But the basis for uh, trading, the basis for business, the basis for commerce is road network. It's road network. Even though with respect to America, most of their trading goes in goes on in the railway. Most of their trade their trading goes on in their airport by through uh, an, 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 an airplane coming to one point of time to uh, pick up something and to deliver it to a certain point of time, even though they all work. But the basis and the foundation and the core is good road, road network. And this is what we don't have in Africa. We don't have this in Africa. So we are always not maximizing time. We are always not making good use of our time. And because of that, Africa is retarding in growth. So please, African leaders, consider uplifting the face of the continent road to enable us to be able to develop as a continent. Thank you and God bless you. And please, don't forget to subscribe to Africa on Heritage TV. Thank you.